In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 404 page using Elementor. And this is a brand new feature. This is actually one of the reasons I don't like Elementor, even though I love it, but I also sometimes don't love it because I made a video last week about how to make a 404 page with Elementor using an external plugin because Elementor couldn't do it built into the plugin, but this week it can. So the reason I don't like Elementor is they release new features faster than I can make videos for them. So it's kind of a pain, but it's still awesome. And I love Elementor, so if you don't have it yet, make sure you check it out. And this is how I make a 404 page in Elementor. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you're new here and you like WordPress and WordPress tips and tricks, click on the subscribe button, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these awesome tutorials. And if you like Elementor and you want to get even better at it, I'm thinking of creating an Elementor Ultimate course that shows you everything you can do with it. And I got a little wait list set up. You can get to it in the link in the description down below. If there's enough interest in the course, I will make it. And after you sign up there, let's get into the screen capture. First thing we have to do is head down to the Elementor menu and then click on My Templates. Then click on Add New. Select Single. And then for the next drop down, select 404 page. You can give it a name if you want. Usually names are used when you have a template that you use over and over again. A 404 page you only make once and use once. We might update it over time, but you only use it once. There's only one version of the 404 template in one place, which is a 404 page. So I usually don't give this one a name, but you can give it a name if you like to. Go and create template when you're ready. There's a bunch of pre-made blocks that are available. This feature is pretty brand new for Elementor. So these are the, the 12, or the sorry, the nine blocks they have available for you here. They probably have more later on, but right now there's these ones. And I'm just gonna choose one of them, just at random, just choose this one. It'll open up a bigger preview, so we can take a look at it. And this is what the page will look like more or less. And a 404 page is really there to, uh, some would say to comfort a user because they've clicked on a link, they've wanted to see a specific thing, but they go to a page that doesn't exist. So they're a little upset about that. Even if they're not like angry and shouting, they're like, oh man, I really wanted to see that. So a 404 page is there to kind of soften the blow. So that's why you quite often see 404 pages that are pretty humorous. You quite often see 404 pages that provide a lot of resources to keep the, the visitor there. Otherwise, it might just bounce off your site. And our current 404 on this page is not that great. This is what it looks like. Let's go to a random page that doesn't exist. And we see this page. And it says page not found in the title, but nowhere else does it say this is a 404. Someone who landed here would probably think the site's just broken and it just bounced right back to wherever they were. So we're gonna have a nicer 404 page after we finish this. I'm gonna click on insert. Now we have the 404 block placed into the page. We have an Elementor header at the top, Elementor design footer at the bottom. If you wanna know how to make those, I've linked a tutorial up above where I show you, it's the release tutorial when this feature was added and it shows you how to create them as well. So check that out if you wanna create Elementor headers and footers. Uh, if you don't wanna have headers and footers, some people like to have a 404 page just on a blank page. To do that, go to settings in the bottom left here and then choose Elementor canvas. And now this page will update live and we'll see that the header and footer are gone and we have just the 404 block. So here we have just the 404 block, no more header and footer. And it's a matter of preference, whether you like it better this way or with the menu. I prefer the navigation menu because that just gives people some more options to find something else on the site and stay on the site. And something I like to add to 404 pages is a list of posts. So if we scroll down to our elements here, we have our WordPress posts, which are quite terrible looking. If I put that right here, if I can drop it right there, there we go. We see they are not very nice. With some CSS that you apply to it, you might make it look a bit better, but it doesn't look that great. Like the, you have a nice polished video playing in the back with someone speed typing and a nice clean 404 and they have this ugly block of posts. I actually prefer an add-on that I've added to the site. It's a free plugin and it has posts carousel has a much cooler out of the box way to display the posts. And I've linked a tutorial up above where you can see how I got this um, this content added. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a plugin that we add. And now our 404 page is a little too tall. So I'm gonna get rid of our existing posts here. 
and make it full screen. So we have a carousel. These ones don't have any featured images on them, but if there was a featured image, it'd be a featured image at the top, then the title, and then the content. And this being the, t oh, here's one, here we go. So here's some with featured images. Hopefully your posts all have featured images. And featured image, title, post content. As you can tell, it's a lot nicer than the stock WordPress one. And that's a pretty cool looking thing. It fits into the site quite well or to the page quite well. Let's edit this text to, sorry, can't find the page you are looking for. Maybe the ones below are just as great or something like that. And basically I wanna tell them to check out one of these ones below because the current page doesn't exist. So you can edit and update and tweak this however you like. Then click on publish in the bottom when you're ready. So we're gonna include this on a 404 page. This is set up by default because we chose the 404 page earlier. So it has a condition of appearing on a 404 page. So click on publish whenever you're ready. Now if we refresh this site or this page, I'm gonna do a control shift refresh to clear the cache, then we should have a 404 or our, our, our designed 404 page. And here it is. Here's our new 404 design. It takes the video moment to load. There's the video and we have our nice featured image posts here. That's a pretty good looking 404 page, much better than the one we had just a moment ago. And that's how we add 404 pages with Elementor without needing any other plugins except for this Carousel plugin, which is optional. You don't need to have these posts down here, but you can if you want to. I like to have them. And that's how we do it. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then the bell notification icon. If you want to get on that Elementor course waitlist, you can get on it down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.